Hello, this is Bern, and on today's episode, I'm going to be sharing with you how to stop feeling alone. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to BernMendez.com, a space where I share with ambitious, conscious, heart-centered, successful women like you how to attract the kind of man and relationship you want as a direct result of stepping to the most alive and most feminine version of you. Now, if you find yourself, like most human beings, in the world, alone, in your house, uh, if you've chosen, for whatever reason, or you've not been able to step into a direct, intimate partnership with someone, and you find yourself, it's you and four walls, and you're starting to feel alone, not just in terms of friendship, but in terms of missing out on that depth that level of connection, that level of devotion, that level of intimacy, sex, the whole thing. If you're missing out on that, and you're listening to my voice right now, and you're saying, well, I want to stop feeling alone. I'm going to share with you six steps you can implement if you choose to start today so you can reverse this situation and not have to wait until the world changes to create that feeling of connection and depth that you see. Step number one, counterintuitive to what most people are going to share with you, is I want you to actually feel the feeling of aloneness. Here's what I mean by that. A lot of human beings, the moment they start feeling alone, they self-medicate with some bullshit, something that doesn't serve them. A little bit of Netflix, a little bit of chat that's meaningless. Maybe uh, on days where the world wasn't the way it is right now, a friend with benefits, you make that call and all of a sudden you don't feel so lonely. So anytime you do anything like that, you're self-medicating in a way where you're not, you're preventing that feeling of punch in the stomach to create the hunger and to create the level of massive action that's required to change your situation from being alone to being in an intimate relationship. So the first step is to allow to that for that to hit you more deeply without self-medicating so that you can awaken to the reality that you want change, that you want change now, and that you're willing to do whatever it takes so long as you're within your ethics and your morals to create and attract this type of relationship. Because one of the things that I can share with you after working with so many women from all walks of life, from all over the world, who've been able to manifest, to attract, to create this relationship called meaningful, lasting, soul-level partnership with someone, they've all been hungry for it, which is different from desperate. Desperate means you have to do it and your life is not complete without it. Hungry means that you recognize that you're missing out, not just on receiving, but of giving what you have to offer to someone. So if you allow that to hit you, number one, Step number two is let that hit you, but let it pass through you. Don't hold on to it. If you choose to hang on to it and hold on to it, what's going to happen is you're going to go into a cycle of shit. You're going to go through a cycle of depression, maybe, or a cycle of feeling unworthy, or a cycle of feeling like your life is not, you're not grateful enough for what you have in life. So once you let it hit you, let it go. Don't create extra intensity, extra drama in your life by virtue of saying, now I'm screwed because I can't get what I want. The feeling is important. Letting it go, not holding on to it is important as well. Now, third step is one of the most important changes you can make. And if you get this one right, I think that you start reversing this shit like today. Step number three is to recognize that by far, when you are feeling most alone, you're asking a question subconsciously that's allowing you to be and feel this way. And the question is, who do I not have in my life? What am I missing? What's lacking? Uh, what am I not getting? One version of that. If you turn the tables around and you ask the question, what can I give? What am I failing to give? What can I offer? What can I share? What problem can I solve? How can I tap into my light to serve someone who's in far deeper problems than I am right now? When you turn the tables from what do I not have to what can I give to the world as a benefit of my gifts, my light, my gratitude, then you immediately start feeling two things. One, your problems are not as big as you thought they were and you're doing it in a constructive way, not Netflix numbing, but helping another human being. And two, you feel the value of contribution, which instantly puts you in an upward spiral to start feeling more connection to those around you. So you're going to do this with friends, with relatives, with maybe strangers in an online way right now since you can't go outside and meet them in person. But once you do that, step number four is I want you to take it online with men. If you are not connected to an online app that allows you to connect with men, for Christ's sake, do that today. <laughs> Create a profile, set it up, and go in. 
If you don't, if you have one app and it's not working, change it. Have one or two apps that you're using where you can allow yourself to open up to a world of more possibilities than you ever could, even if the world were working properly to meet people offline. But now that you can meet people offline, well, heck, you can meet people online. It's not a substitute, but it's going to be a much better start than if you hold on for months for this situation to change. Now, when you go online, I need you to remember something. I need you to remember the rule of 97. Rule of 97 means that 97% of men that you meet on that website, on that app, will not be a freaking fit for you. <laughs> that means that when you've gone through 50 men and you're thinking, oh my God, 50 men who are not the right fit for me, this is not working, then you remember the 97 rule and say, well, I have to go through 40 something more before I can tell myself that this is not working. Why? Because if you know that 3% of the men out there will be a true fit for you, then when you don't hit it instantly, when you go through 60 no's that are not, are not no for you or no for them, you know that there's still room to go for more and still that 3% is significantly number where you can get what you want. Step number five. Once you are online, once you are creating connections, go deeper. What does that mean? Qualify better. Ask better questions. Share something that's more personal about you with those men who are doing it right, who are being honorable, who are being curious, who are being hungry, who are following up with you. Don't just ask the same shit you ask people. And what do you do? And what is your favorite hobby? And like, just go deeper. You have the space and you have the time and you have the hunger right now. Allow yourself to ask better questions, to share more about your dreams, to share more about the vision of life that you want to ask him about the vision of life that he wants so you can create something that's meaningful in concept first before you take it offline. And the last one is get some time to reconnect to why the heck you're doing all this. What is your dream? What do you really, really, really want? What's the type of connection you want? What's the type of intimacy that you're seeking? What's the level of friendship that you want from the man you're with? What's the type of family you want to create? Where would you like to travel? Where would you like to build a home? If you fail to remember the big picture reasons why you're doing this, life becomes overwhelming. The fear, the uncertainty, the discomfort of reaching out to a stranger is too much to bear if you're not doing it for something big. So if you've lost sight of what you want, or if you've never stepped into creating it in the first place, if your dreams are not big enough, you will not pay the emotional price to get them because there's not enough leverage, there's not enough hunger to create. So hope this makes a difference in your life. Hope this makes sense to you right now. And if you find this is helpful, meaningful, and insightful to you, I'm going to invite you to take this even deeper. On the first link in the description of this video, you're gonna find just a link that you can click on, enter your name and email, and be taken to a free class where I'll share with you in more step-by-step -step mode how you can attract this ideal relationship into your life right now. If you find this video helpful, click like or thumbs up, and remember to subscribe to my video. Thank you so much, my channel. Thank you so much for connecting with me. As always, I challenge you to live a full and conscious life. Oh.